Today, we'll be reading from Genesis chapter 35. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to be reading your word. We ask that you open our eyes and our hearts as we read your words. We ask that you teach us how to apply these teachings that you're teaching us to our daily lives. And so we can be more like you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay. Genesis chapter 35. Then God said to Jacob, Get ready and move to Bethel and settle there. Build an altar there to the God who appeared to you and when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob told everyone in his household, Get rid of all your pagan idols. Purify yourselves and put on clean clothing. We are now going to Bethel, where I will build an altar to the God who answered my prayers when I was in distress. He has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave Jacob all their pagan idols and earrings, and he buried them under the great tree near Shechem. As they set out, a terror from God spread over the people in all the towns of that area, so no one attacked Jacob's family. Eventually, Jacob and his household arrived at Luz, also called Bethel in Canaan. Jacob built an altar there and named the place El Bethel, which means God of Bethel, because God had appeared to him there when he was fleeing from his brother Esau. Soon after this, Rebekah's old nurse Deborah died and was buried beneath the oak tree in the valley below Bethel. Ever since, the tree has been called Alon Bakuth, which means Oak of Weeping. Now that Jacob had returned to Padadaram, God appeared to him again at Bethel. God blessed him, saying, Your name is Jacob, but you will not be called Jacob any longer. From now on, your name will be called Israel. So God renamed him Israel. Then God said, I am El Shaddai, God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. You will become a great nation, and many nations, even many nations. Kings will be among your descendants, and I will give you the land I once gave to Isaac, Abraham and Isaac. Yes, I will give it to you and your descendants after you. Then God went up to the place where he had spoken to Jacob. Jacob set up a stone pillar to mark the place where God had spoken to him. Then he poured wine over it as it is an offering to God and anointed the pillar with olive oil. And Jacob named the place Bethel, which means house of God, because God has spoken to him there. The death of Rachel and Isaac. Leaving Bethel, Jacob and his clan moved on toward Ephraim. But Jacob went into labor, but Rachel went into labor while they were still some distance away. Her labor pains were intense. After a very hard delivery, the midwife finally exclaimed, Don't be afraid. You have another son. Rachel was about to die, but with her last breath, she named the baby Benoni, which means son of my sorrow. The baby's father, however, called him Benjamin, which means son of my right hand. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephra, that is Bethlehem. Jacob set up a stone monument over Rachel's grave, where it can be, and it can be seen there this day. Then Jacob traveled on and camped beyond Mid Midro Ladir. While he was living there, Reuben had intercourse with Bilna, Bilha, his father's concubine, and Jacob soon heard about it. There are, these are the names of the twelve sons of Jacob. The sons of Leah were Reuben, Jacob's oldest son, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishaka, and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel were Joseph and Benjamin, the sons of Bilha. Rachel's servant were Dan and Naphtali, the sons of Zilpah. Leah's servant were God and Asher. These are the names of the sons who were born to Jacob at Padandaram. So Jacob returned to his father Isaac in Mamre, which is near Kirath Thabar, now called Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had both lived as foreigners. Isaac lived for 180 years. Then he breathed his last and died at a ripe old age, joining his ancestors in death, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried them. This is the account of the descendants of Esau, also known as Edom. Esau married two young women from Canaan, Ada, the daughter of Elon, and Hittite, and 
Ohila Bama, the daughter of Anna and granddaughter of Zebian the Hivite. He also married his cousin Bathmoth, who was the daughter of Ishmael and the sister of Nebaioth. Ada gave birth to a son named Eliphaz for Esau. Bathmoth gave birth to a son named Reo. Ohilaba gave birth to a son named Jush, Jalam, and Korah. All these sons were born to Esau in the land of Canaan. Esau took his wives, his children, and his entire household along with his livestock and cattle, all the wealth he had acquired in the land of Canaan, and he moved away from his brother Jacob. There was not enough land to support them because both of all the livestock and possessions they had acquired. So Esau, also known as Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of Esau's descendants, the Edomites, who lived in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Aliphaz, the sons of Esau's wife, Ida, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife, Basmath. The descendants of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Sepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Tima, the concubine of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, gave birth to a son named Amalek. These are the descendants of Esau's wife, Ada. The descendants of Ruel were Naha, Zera, Shama, and Misa. These are descendants of Esau's wife, Basmath. Esau also had sons through Aholibama, the daughter of Anna and the granddaughter of Zebion. Their names were Jush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the descendants of Esau who became the leaders of various clans. The descendants of Esau's oldest sons were Elaphaz, became the leaders of the clans of Teman, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gatum, and Amalek. These are the clan leaders in the land of Edom who descended from Eliphaz. All these were descendants of Esau's wife Ada. The descendants of Esau's son Ru became the leaders of the clan Nahath, Zira, Shama, and Misa. These are the clan leaders in the land of Edom who descended from Ru. All these were descendants of Esau's wife Basmath. The descendants of Esau and his wife Oli. Aholibama became the leaders of the clans of Jews, Jalam, and Korah. These are the clan leaders who descended from Esau's wife, Aholibama, the daughter of Anna. These are the de clans descended from Esau, also known as Edom, identified by their clan leaders. These are the names of tribes that descended from Ser and Horite. They lived in the land of Edom, Lotan, Shobal, Zebin, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishon. These were the Horite clan leaders, the descendants of Ser, who lived in the land of Edom. The descendants of Lotan were Hori, Hinnom. Lotan's sister was named Tima. The descendants of Shoba were Alvin, Manahath, Manahath Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. The descendants of Zebians were Ai, and Anna. This is the Anna who discovered the hot springs in the wilderness while he was grazing his father's donkeys. The descendants of Anna were his son, Dishon, and his daughter, Ohilibama. The descendants of Dishon were Hemden, Esbon, Ithran, and Kiron. The descendants of Ezer were Bilhan, Savan, and Akan. The descendants of Dishon were Uz and Aaron. So these were the leaders of the Horage clans, Lotan, Shobo, Zebian, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishon. The Horage clan, clans were named after their clan leaders, who lived in the land of Seir, rulers of Edom. These are the kings who ruled in the land of Edom before any king ruled over the Israelites. Bela, son of Beor, who ruled on Edom in his city of Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jacob, son of Zerah from Barra, became the king in his place. When Jobab died, Hosham from the land of Tamanites became king in his place. When Husham died, Hadad, son of Bedad, became king in his place and ruled from the city of Abith. He was the one who defeated the Midianites in the land of Moab. When Hadad died, Shamla from the city of Meshrachah 
became king in his place. When Samla died, Shaul from the city of Rehoboth on the river became king in his place. When Shaul died, Balanan son of Achbor became king in his place. When Balanan son of Achbor died, Hadad became king in his place and ruled from the city of Pau. His wife was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matred and granddaughter of Mesabab. These are the names of the leaders in the clans descended from Esau, who lived in the places named for them: Chima, Alva, Jehath, Oholibama, Ala, Pinon, Kenas, Timon, Mibzar, Magdil, and Iram. These are the leaders of the clans of Edom, listed according to their settlements in the land they occupied. They all descended from Esau, the ancestor of Edomites. There you go, and that was day thirteen. Thank you for reading along.